I'm here with Bobby from Masterpiece Caravans and behind us we've got Masterpiece's brand new Optimum Extreme Off-Road. This caravan is an all new build for 2024. It's fully spec'd out, it's fully featured and it is just a beast of a thing and what a fantastic spot we found ourselves in, Bobby. It's amazing, we can't wait to showcase the 2024 range. The Optimum is our flagship model. We've loaded it with even more features than it previously had and I can't wait to show everyone what this Optimum is all about for this year. Awesome, Bobby. Mate, what's up on the roof? You've got some solar, you've got your air con. 880 watts of solar, which is huge. We've got the dual pressure, positive pressure system on the front of the van. So that's like a caravan unit. And in front of that, we have a fantastic hatch, which is runs off a rain sensor to allow air in and out of the van. And then obviously it closes automatically if it starts raining. As you can see, we've got the hatches open on the van as well. And they're fantastic hatches. You can open them. There's two levels they sit on. You've got a complete block out and you've got a fly screen and they've got LED lights. They really do everything, these hatches these days, and they're a fantastic off-road feature. Now for 2024, some of the main key features are a newly designed chassis and completely new suspension. What can you tell me about those? We're super excited with the new um, suspension and chassis setup. We've worked really hard with Road King and we've got to thank the boys from Road King for designing and developing a brand new truss chassis. There's heaps of truss chassis out there on the market, but we believe this is very unique and innovative in its design. So we're super proud of the new truss chassis. And also one of the new features is the TerraGlide suspension, which has been designed and developed by a team of engineers specific for an off-road caravan application but taking the best parts away from four-wheel drive suspensions. So pressed bearings, no servicing, no greasing, no nothing. You don't have to do nothing with this suspension apart from checking your brake pads and the odd wheel alignment. So we're super, super proud of the new suspension we've been able to design and develop with the engineers. And that's sitting on the Optimum Extreme off-road chassis, like we said, the truss chassis. And on the Optimum for 2024, we're actually featuring standard airbags. So stage three wireless airbags will be standard. Bobby, you mentioned the truss chassis. What do you see as some of the advantages here is it a strength and weight thing? It is a stronger chassis because you're laminating steel. It also giving you height and clearance. So for those off-road enthusiasts, it's given them even more clearance as the chassis is now sitting at 12 inches. So that's really, really important. Another feature of the truss chassis is we can tuck the tanks in a lot higher. So again, for that off-road application, you're not gonna have the opportunity to scrub out the tanks if you really get into some trouble. Another key feature of the Road King chassis is we only use 450 grade Australian zinc galvanized tube steel. This is super important important it's the hardest steel it's Australian zinc galvanized it's not prone to rusting and we can only use a premium steel in our chassis it's a premium product we don't need you to have issues out there on the road so we insist on using the 450 grade zinc galvanized Australian tube steel so what sort of wheels have we got are they 17 inch alloys correct we use a 17 inch theory wheel it comes in this bronze color and you've got the option of black and gunmetal but the real feature is the Mickey Thompson by our boss tires again we're a premium product we don't skimp on using a generic road tire this is a premium off-road tire by Mickey Thompson so Moving to the front of the van, Bobby, I noticed that you've got your gas cylinders actually sort of locked away inside a checker plate compartment. We've got a fully extended drawbar, so we have three toolboxes at the front. One is for the gas bottles, and then we have two separate boxes, both with bottom and top slide-out trays to fit fridges, barbecues, generators, whatever you see fit to fit at the front there. And we run the DO35 coupling standard. And on the rear of the van, we've got a forearm bumper bar, two jerry can holders, and of course the spare wheel holder at the back. And for your convenience, we also have a firewood cradle. Now those slide-out trays up the front of the van to me don't look like off the shelf units. Do you guys make them in house? No, we don't make it in house. We've got a fabrication company that designs and engineers these for us as well. And as an added convenience for the consumer, we also put an Anderson plug in the front box. So if you are gonna run a fridge, bang the Anderson plugs there, ready to go. So one thing that I notice is just how fully spec'd out this caravan is on the outside. I mean, you've got an entertainment box there with your airbag controls. You've got your fusion sound system. Is there anything you haven't fitted on this van? No, we're trying to cover all the bases. So the fusion sound system outside runs independent. There's a separate fusion system inside that runs for the inside of the van. Like you mentioned, the entertainment hatch with the airbag controller, all your connections for the TV, power with the inverted power point as well, the medic double glaze windows, global heritage awning. We pride ourselves on partnering with the premium products and premium brands in the market. Number one, adds value to the unit, but most importantly, it's the after sale service that those suppliers give us to give the end user the two year general and the five year structural warranty. 
Right, Bobby, you did mention that the water tanks are sort of recessed up higher underneath, but what sort of capacity do we have there? So we have two 95 litre tanks up the front. We've got a 62 litre dedicated drinking water tank in the middle and a 100 litre grey water tank at the back. Well, when we're camping, Bobby, obviously insects are always a bit of a problem. Anti-insect lights are a thing on caravans now. I mean, do you have those? We've got uh, five annex lights all on the rotary mechanism, so you can flick them from white to orange to deter the insects. And we have three on the door side and two on the road side. So we've lit up the van like a Christmas tree, really. And of course, we've got the security mesh for the entry door. With the midget-proof screen, Thad. Right, Bobby, so we've got 880 watts worth of solar up on that roof, but what sort of lithium setup do we have? The best part about the van, 600 amp of lithium batteries, all powered by the Victron battery management system, and I can't wait to show you these features inside. Does that have an inverter? Correct. We're inside the 2024 model Optimum Extreme Off-Road by Masterpiece Caravans, and uh, look, we are entirely off-grid. The caravan's not plugged in, but Bobby, we're powering all of our appliances. Correct, the Victron battery management system is absolutely amazing. The 3000 watt inverter, 120 amp charger, 250 amp solar regulators, 30 amp DC to DC, then the 880 watts of solar and 600 amp of lithium batteries, power is not going to be the problem here. So we've got all that running off the inverter right now. Um, we still probably have enough power to plug in a coffee machine. Correct, you can run a coffee machine, a hairdryer, everything else off this van, all the power points are inverted. It's an amazing setup. I just love the fact that we've got this amazing view. We're out in the bush, but we're completely comfortable. That's the aim of the game for Masterpiece Caravans. We're a complete off-road caravan manufacturer, and the more you can stay off-grid and off-road for longer, the better it is for us. I noticed we've got a uh, hot plate over there with one induction element and two gas burner elements. We're starting to move forward with an induction cooktop and two gas burners, so it's called a hybrid hob, and we're running a convection microwave. So listening to everybody's upgrades through the years, this is where it's heading, so we're moving forward with the customer demand and fitting off these new uh, features for the van. So do you think hybrid's more where it's at? Because we're talking about, you know, caravans going gasless, we don't need gas bottles on caravans anymore, but uh, I kind of think that maybe there is still a, a space for gas. Correct. We believe you should always have two power sources because if one fails, you've always got plan B. So carrying the gas bottles at the front is for us important because you might be running a Dometic outdoor kitchen or other appliances that you will require the gas bottles. And what kind of fridge have we got there? That's going to be a compressor. Standard is a Dometic compressor fridge. And that's a 220 litre fridge freezer? Correct, fridge and freezer. Now I know this model year 24 caravan is fully spec'd out, so what else have we got? Another cracking feature of the van is the Truma products we use in the caravan. So we run a Truma gas heater, which is under the bed. We run a Truma Aventa aircon, and we run a Truma instant hot water service. And the beauty of it is it all gets controlled from the bedside controller. One thing I would say is that it's quite bright in here, a lot of natural light, plenty of LEDs. Yeah, we run LED downlights throughout all our vans. We've got reading lights that have a white and blue function, so you can dim it to the blue light at night. All our overhead covers have got touch lights underneath. All the hatches have got lighting as well, so lighting is not going to be your problem. So yeah, those washing machines are fantastic when you're in a place like this, you're off-grid and you can still wash the dirty socks. But I notice it's really quite comfortable inside the van, despite being really hot outside. This is actually the air cell insulation working. So the RT construction compromises of the fibroplast framing, the air cell insulation and the one-piece structural floor so the heat is not allowed to get into this caravan as the floor is well insulated with the fiberglass top and bottom layer the walls are insulated with the air cell insulation and the fiberglass framing does not transfer hot and cold as other framing materials can do so this van is fully insulated that's why we are super comfortable in here and if we were to close the door and put the aircon on within five minutes would be amazing in this van so how does the air cell um, insulation work are they essentially pockets of air within the framing material correct that covers the entire exterior of the van so what it does is, as heat tries to enter the out from the outside, the silver reflective material pushes it back. So there's a barrier between the outer skin and the air cell insulation, and that is the air that is regulating the temperature of the van. So if you want to put the heater on in the van, that's going to push hot air into there and not allow any other air transfer inside. So that's how you keep the temperature of the van to what you want it to be, whether you're running the heater or you're running the aircon. Now, I really like the fibroplast material that you use for the framing. Can you just touch on that briefly? It's a unique composition in the fibroplast framing, so it's not an aluminium frame and it's not your traditional Ranty frame and it's also not a sandwich panel it's a unique blend of polyurethane and fiberglass and that allows us to build a van in the same traditional method we did in the past as a Maranti frame except that the fibroplast is 33% lighter stronger and it's a rot free material so zero water ingress and the beauty of it is when you put the external cladding on 
As soon as the external cladding touches the fibroblast, it does not transfer the hot and cold as it would on an aluminium frame caravan or a sandwich panel that's been routed out to run your services through the walls. And the fibroblast doesn't deform, does it? No, it doesn't have any deformation at all. It's actually got a very good deflection, so even if you try to bend it, it will come back into place. It doesn't have a memory, whereas some of the other materials available on the market, once they bend, they stay bent, or ultimately they could crack and snap. And a screw will bite in just as well as it would in wood? Correct, so the fibroplast with its uh, fiberglass composition, as soon as you screw in, the fibres twirl around those threads as well, giving you added strength. Don't mind this dinette either, we're both a couple of tall blokes, but still feel pretty comfortable. Yeah, we spend a lot of time with our um, new age upholstery, which makes our upholstery for us, and we use genuine Italian leather in this van, so this is straight off the cow's back, this is not a man-made product. Now what sort of an ATM does this caravan have? So this caravan has three and a half ton max ATM, but it is fitted with a four and a half ton suspension. So if you've got the vehicle and the capacity to tow a greater weight, then all we need to do is put a DO45 coupling on the front and you're ready to go to tow up to four and a half ton. But it is rated at three and a half ton for the vehicles that have three and a half ton max towing. So the tear of the optimum extreme off-road would be about three ton? Yeah, it's around the three ton mark, so it's suitable for a lot of vehicles. The main vehicles that people tow with are normally the Land Cruiser and the Patrol because they've got the higher G and now of course we've got the big American trucks that have come to the market and more and more people are gravitating that way. They just want to be on the safe side. They don't want to be in a Amarok with six ton gross combined mass and now you're always on your limits and you're worried you're going to get pulled over. Having these cars with the bigger GCMs of 6.8 ton and beyond is most ideal for this van. One thing I noticed Bobby, it's a small point but you've got his and her light switches either side of the bed so that uh, say I need to get up to use the bathroom during the night, I can turn the light on in the ensuite without disturbing anybody. With one flick of the light, only the lights go on in the bathroom, you're not lighting up the whole van, you're not disturbing anybody and it's on, like you said, both sides of the van to give it extra convenience. So this is a next level caravan, both on the inside and the outside. It is fully specced up for 2024. It's got some new innovations and it's just a beautiful looking van on the inside as well. Thank you so much, Max, and we can't wait to launch these beasts shortly. And we look forward to everyone coming out to all the caravan shows coming up in all the major cities and come out and say hello and let us explain to you why Masterpiece Caravans is continuing to lead the off-road market. And Bobby, if anybody wants more information, masterpiececaravans.com.au.